Hi campers, I'm Shannon Rose and these are my kids, Snowstorm and my husband Travis. We moved into our 2009 36-foot Windsport RV to travel the world. We're documenting our journey and invite you to come along on our camping adventures. We hope you subscribe to our channel to follow our travel journey. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment, and share with your friends. Okay campers, here we go. Okay, so now we are in our RV. It's 36 feet. We estimate it's around like 300 square feet. And we moved from our 3,000 square foot house into our new little tiny house. Um, we are traveling the country and living in this while we do it. So this is the front of our RV. We have a class A, which means it's got one of the big windshields, which we really like because I feel like we can see the view and it's like really beautiful. And then we have our two little um, captain's chairs here which are really nice and comfortable and they actually um, twist out so you can use them as chairs in the RV. We did buy our RV used. Uh, so this is another chair. This actually moves so you can actually like take this outside if you wanted to. This couch right here that our daughter Snow um, is on. She's three by the way if you're new to our channel. This is Storm. Oh this one really likes oranges so I'm just you want that one? He'll just like eat the skin and everything. Um, this couch is super comfortable. It also turns into a bed, like a big bed that's very comfortable. So that's really awesome. Then over here we have our dining room table. Um, this also turns into a bed. Up here is where we store all of our food. And then we have more space. As you can see, there's tons of like cabinet space. So we have like tons of storage all over. We have more food up there. I forgot to show you guys, this is where we store a lot of our shoes. We put a little like shoe organizer um, here and my husband like screwed it in and so we're able to put store a lot of our shoes there this is our little kitchen area has everything we need a sink a oven a stove right here so this this like comes up and it's a stove this right here is our little toaster oven microwave we have our fridge and freezer here it's actually pretty big for a motorhome it's not like a residential size but it is really big. I'll ask you guys want to take a little peek inside. Oh gosh, we've got stuff coming out. Um, how big that is. That's pretty big for a fridge, right? And then there might be stuff that falls out of here too, but um, you can see we have things like packed in here. So we're vegan, so we've got all the vegan food in here. And yeah, it stores a lot more than you would think. My husband and I are always really surprised on how how much that stores. Also, he likes eating like the skin, so. Oh, um, okay, so then we have our like living room TV here, got some more storage above and below. And then if you wanna come on over here, try to turn some lights on, it gets a little dark in this hallway. But we, the main reason we bought this RV was because it had bunk beds for the kids, which we thought was perfect. <laughs> Slept pretty good, buddy. You wanna eat that? Um, so there's actually doors here that separate the living room from the bedroom. And then, uh, so that's nice. And then there's two full-size bunk beds, which adults can actually fit in these. And then it has this nifty little curtain here, so you can shut this and it goes all the way around. Pretty cool. Um, right now we're just using this top bunk for storage. We've got a bunch of like storage stuff up here. And then um, if you keep coming in, the bathroom is right here. So if you wanna come on this way, I could show you like where I store all the kids' clothes because we don't have a lot of closet space, but we use these shoe organizers and we have, this is basically Snow's closet, our three-year-old. We store all of her clothes up here and then I'll let you come in and we'll switch spots and you could see where we store the baby's clothes, which are um, over the shower door right there. The coolest thing about our bathroom is that my husband put in and installed a plug behind the toilet so that we could have a bidet toilet, which is like the best thing ever. This toilet seat 
actually is heated. It has a nightlight. Um, it has heat, uh, I told you heated seats. You can adjust the temperature of the seat. It has a front and rear spray wash to like clean you. It has a dryer to dry you off. Very fancy for like, you know, RV living. This is definitely glamping. My son is pushing the door shut. If you come in, I can show you, um, I guess I can do open some cabinets in here. All right, I'm taking over the camera here. Uh, this is where we store like our towels. My makeup is like right here uh, and some first aid stuff. And then we have this like actually pretty big medicine cabinet, which is really nice to have. And I, um, you can see kind of all the stuff that it allows us to store in here, which is quite a bit of stuff. So it's really nice. Very grateful for all that space and I have these little things I change them every day today it says I love my life I love everything and everyone in it I love it it's by intelligent change so we do cloth wipes so that's what we have there I mean we do both um, but for like baby wipes we do just strictly cloth wipes so we kind of store them there and then I also do cloth menstrual pads which are all stored in here um, and then we have like extra RV toilet paper if we need that and then Travis's little toiletry bag we also have extra storage underneath here in the bathroom, which is really nice. So we do have quite a bit of storage space. And then in our shower, I will show you, we store our little like laundry here. Um, and then this is what our shower looks like. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy in there. And then this is our master bedroom. Another really cool thing about this is we have doors to the master that uh, Travis will show you shut. So it shuts us off from the kids bunk bed. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so that's nice. So there's two, you know, doors. So it's like having a bedroom. The, the kids have their bunk bed bedroom and then we have our master bedroom. So if you're wondering why we have this huge tent in our master bedroom, this is the slumber pod. It's actually meant for if you have kids that are still napping um, and when you're traveling, you kind of just put this over the pack and play and it like blacks it out. It's awesome. And then there's this little section right here where you can, um, there's like a zipper where you can put the baby monitor or like camera for, the, for a baby monitor in there. So it's nice because it tells you like the temperature and you can also see your baby. Here, you want to play? So right now we have this in our master bedroom just because it works really well for naps. Um, but we can move it anywhere in the RV if we want. So behind this is um, my closet and Travis's kind of we have some drawers and closet space here. I will kind of show you. Let me just move this so you can see it really quick. The so one thing about tiny living is not a lot of space but we love it okay so this tv did not actually come with the rv the tv when we bought it was actually broken and so we searched high and low for a tv that would fit here and my husband is amazing and installed this um and we even put a little dvd player down there so you know if we're out we don't have service we're boondocking we can still watch movies which i think is really cool and then we have um quite a bit of sp i mean that's not true we don't have a lot of closet space but we got rid of a lot of our stuff and kind of make do with what we have but we have all these drawers and then my closet is really messy don't judge me um but yeah this is my closet travis does not have anything in here this is all me um travis got like two drawers <laughs> and then he has some stuff up um above our bed which i'll show you guys in a second but that is i did a whole closet tour by the way showed and tried on all my clothes that i have which has changed now but if you guys want to check that out it's on my youtube channel all right, let's come over on this side and then you can kind of see where we sleep. Um, so up here, we also have a bunch more storage, which is a good amount. It goes back pretty far. The coolest thing that I bought, I spent way too much money on, um, was this comforter because it's kind of like a sleeping bag comforter, but it makes your life so much easier. Yeah, these things are awesome. Love them. This bed is also very comfortable, uh, or the mattress is very comfortable. We did a whole video on that too, on our um, thing. Okay, so that's kind of this area. And then I'm gonna show you our little library. We have a little tiny home library I will show you. Let me just move this out of the way so we can get to it. All right, here it is. Come on over here. So this is our little library and toy area. Can you see it pretty well with the lighting? So up here is kind of like 
mom's area i got like all my books and then the kids have their books and some of their toys and then up here in this cabinet is where we store all of our dvds so we've got like mom and dad's dvds on the bottom and then the kids dvds on the top and then some like stuff we don't want our kids being able to reach like the paint and kind of some activities and stuff like that over there okay so i think that kind of concludes our little rv tour if you guys want to see a more in-depth RV tour like me opening up all our cabinets showing you like all our, all our food and everything um, let me know but I hope that you guys enjoyed this also if you're new to our channel um, we are living in our motorhome and traveling and going to a lot of really cool places so if you guys want to check out more videos from us don't forget to subscribe um, if you liked the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button On and let go. Add color into yourself. Now lights like a movie, camera pose. One time for the girl, Shannon Rose.